Hey everybody, Zmanzilla here. Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed you. I had a terrible sciatica attack, and uh, just down my right leg and my buttocks. I was uh, just flat out for about a you know a week, and I'm still recovering from it. Uh, you know, I can't sit for long periods of time, so that's put a hamper in my ability to stream. Uh, I you know I have, I've done very little reaching out to other people uh, as sort of a way to sort of fill the time right now. I uh, decided to do a little bit of a discussion about uh, something I just saw. Uh, I think it was uh, a new new film from uh, Asylum. Uh, it looks like maybe they're doing a mockbuster of aliens and oh my god, no, this is supposed to be a Doom movie. Okay, so here's the thing. I understand that sometimes you gotta make some concessions when you're making a film. Perfect example, the Watchmen movie. The Watchmen movie, there was no way they were gonna be able to take Watchmen, the graphic novel, or the, you know, actually 12-part series that it was, and turn it into a movie, you know, uh, one-to-one. -one. I felt the compromises they made were actually pretty good, you know, and I enjoyed the film Watchmen. Now, to its credit, uh, this is being marketed as a direct-to-video release so this is not a theatrical release fine fair enough expectations lowered will be reasonable even with those lowered expectations this thing looks like hot buttered crap and they forgot to add the butter with the first movie i mean there, there were some excuses there with the first movie it was kind of like okay well uh, you know we're going off of doom 3 which is a little bit different from the rest of the series at that time that was sort of the vision they were going with with the movie. You can kind of tell. I felt The Rock was fun in it. They did a good job of converting the BFG. You know, they added all those things. They even managed to stick in a bunch of other stuff. So, as far as adaptations go, uh, you know, not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but there was some effort to at least get the look and the feel and the basic idea down. Now, Doom Annihilation is coming out on the heels of the 2016 Doom, you know, which is very rich in lore. It's not like the original Doom 1 and 2 where there wasn't a whole lot you could base it on. Doom 2016's lore is as deep, you know, it's fascinating. There's stuff going on, you know, plot-wise. You know, you got guys like Samuel Hayden and, you know, Olivia Pierce and, you know, actual named characters now. So basically what they did was they said, hmm, okay, so right now the most, you know, okay, so here's the original Doom. Here's the original Doom. They're looking at it and they're going, okay, so the popular one right now is the one that sort of takes place on this grungy Mars base and, you know, uh, so great, we'll just do Grungy Mars base, Doom, whatever. Okay, so it's understandable that that's the version they went with. Then you come around to when this movie's getting made, Doom Annihilation, they go, okay, so the popular one, the really hot one, the genuine one that everybody's into, that the, the strength of which they're going to be coming to see this movie on, presumably, is this lore-rich, you know, uh, just great, you know, just just great deep story that action-packed with, you know, these really cool-looking demons, and, you know, at the center of it all is the Doom Slayer, you know, the Doom Slayer. Badass armor, and he's a one-man army, just a super badass, and, and, you know, so basically, you can boil it down to solo badass in cool armor. And Doom Annihilation says, well, how about we do that? but with a Scooby gang of scrawny wieners in paintball gear. And you, you know they must have seen, or at least thought about, the, the, the video game, because they, they refer to them as the Doom Slayers, you know, plural. They, they are literally the opposite of the Doom Slayer. Like, in every way, shape, and form. And it really looks like with the female, like, centered thing, they're, they're going for an Aliens vibe. Which, again, this is how this whole thing comes off. It comes off like the Asylum is doing an Aliens mockbuster 20 years too late. The costumes are lazy as all get out. I think I referred to them earlier. They look like paintball gear. I mean, I think I'm even being nice with that assessment. It really just more kind of looks like they bought the, the Value Village version of a Starship Troopers costume. Like, the one monster they showed, I can't tell what that's supposed to be, if that's supposed to be an imp or you know a hell knight or something like that it's eyeless it's eyeless and it's got the teeth like you know it just looks like crap and they're doing the horror thing of oh show it in low lighting and only briefly and all this other stuff it's like come on man it's, it's 2019 current year argument we're gonna you know we're, we're gonna pause the video on these little sections here we're gonna do screenshots we're gonna talk about it endlessly welcome to you know this this era one more thing that i think is just absolutely hilarious in all of this if you take a closer look at the description into the video this is a sequel this is intended as a sequel it is not its own thing so 
maybe that does explain a little bit why they're not taking things from Doom 2016. Uh, it does sort of bring up, well, what the hell were they thinking? They're making a sequel to a film that was panned like crazy. Here's the thing. Everybody, when they heard there was going to be a do, do, new Doom movie, what did they all say? Original one sucked, didn't stay on topic, blah, blah, blah. Had that stupid thing with the, the 24th chromosome and, you know, all that stuff. And I, I swear to God, the folks over that were making this movie, I hope they were paying enough attention to at least be a little bit embarrassed about what they were doing to kind of go, ooh, geez, you know, we're, we're kind of basing it on that one that nobody liked. Yeah. I, I'm going to see it when it comes out on Netflix. I'm not paying a dime to watch this thing. It's not the Doom movie we were all thinking it was going to be. It's exactly the Doom movie we were we were hoping it, 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 would, it would move past. It's a sequel. Anyway, thank you very much for hearing what I had to say about the movie. I'm sure I'm not adding any new information to the discourse, but uh, at, at the very least, I got to come back out and say hi to everybody. How you doing? Hey, oh, and by the way, um, I was out for a while. I was making this here. This is my new CD. Uh, you can check it out on cdbaby.com. I'll put a link in the description. I hope you choose to check it out. And, uh, and of course, if you like what you saw here, I do hope you choose to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's good to see you again.